And then we had the budget, which was largely crafted by the former administration before they left. We did a few tinkerings around with it, but primarily it was the previous administration budget that we've been working this year. And so we had to go out and borrow that $1.4 million to pay for the $400 million loan, the $750 million to refinance existing debt, and $322 million to meet the, the budgeted deficit. This government borrowed $1.4 million, $1 billion, sorry, because all of it we can lay squarely at the feet of the former administration. And yes, some corn beef. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, at least two meals. Tuna for breakfast, corned beef for grits. <laughs> and you know, people laugh at that, by the way. But the reality is, this is what people eat. Yes, we all have to pay a little more. Yes, ain't no getting away from that. And those of us in the middle and upper middle and the rich class, yes, we will feel it a lot more than the poor. Oh, I don't support you, and I don't care if you don't like it. Because you can't do me nothing. I got skills. I got paper. And at the end of this, I can make my own money. And so while we're worrying about 12%, other people are saying, hey, boy, that sounds like me. That sounds like this, I, could, I could deal with that. I could do something. And at the end of this, I can make my own money. And you know what? The beauty of that is that not only are you empowered, but particularly for our men, who we know have a problem. I was going to say something just now, but I, I, I stopped.